My name is Dr. Ryan Flanagan, and I'm a urologist at Vancouver General Hospital, and I'm assistant professor in the Department of Urologic Sciences at the University of British Columbia. I am also the clinical lead for the Sexual Health Clinic with the Prostate Cancer Supportive Care Program. And in this video, we'll be talking about sexual health and prostate cancer for men who have sex with men. At the PCSC program, we support all sexual identities. In this presentation, we use the general term, men who have sex with men, or MSM, which may include people who identify as gay, homosexual, bisexual, two-spirited, transgender, or others. We also recognize that not everyone who has sex with men may choose these identities. This presentation is for all individuals who may be wondering about how prostate cancer and treatment may affect their sexual experiences. Our team recognizes that each person will have their own sexual identity, relationships, and unique experiences. This is important to consider as they may reflect your healthcare history, sexual practices, values, identities, and roles. These considerations need to be respected during your prostate cancer journey. Side effects from prostate cancer treatments can create sexual challenges for MSM. The experience of prostate cancer can also create new ways to explore sexual pleasure, either alone or with another person. Think about what is sexually important to you and ways that you can meet your sexual needs and desires. You may want to consider talking to your healthcare team about managing your side effects and their impact on your sexual and mental health. Feeling comfortable and confident with your healthcare team is very important. It's your decision if you'd like to share your MSM status and sexual orientation. Sharing this information can help you get the care that you need. The PCSE team can help you manage sexual changes from prostate cancer and its treatments. Now, there can be many sexual changes from prostate cancer treatments that people may experience. These sexual changes can affect you in several different ways. This depends on your thoughts around sex, sexuality, and intimacy. Let's start with erectile dysfunction or ED. So ED is when a person is unable to form or keep an erection. It can be one of the most serious side effects to concern individuals. If erections are important in your sexual practices, there are ways to help you form erections, such as using pills, injections, vacuum erection devices, or penile implants. Another potential side effect is ejaculation and orgasm. Ejaculation is the release of fluid from the penis when being sexual, usually accompanying the time of climax. For some individuals, this can be very important in their sexual activities. After prostate cancer treatment, ejaculation may happen less often or even not at all. It's important for you to understand that you can still experience sexual pleasure and orgasm without ejaculation. Another thing that can be altered is the anal sensation. For many individuals, the stimulation of the prostate can be a source of sexual pleasure. If you prefer to be the receptive partner or bottom during anal sex, you may notice these sensations change after prostate cancer treatment. Some men may decide to reverse their sexual roles, becoming a top if they're previously a bottom. If you're thinking about changing sexual roles, it is important to know how that makes you feel and know how to safely take on that role. Another factor of potential side effects could be bile, bowel side effects. Prostate cancer treatment can cause many bowel side effects, including urgency to eliminate cramps, diarrhea, and fecal incontinence, which is a loss of, of bowel control. These side effects can change your sexual experience, especially if you are the receptive or bottom partner. It's important to talk to your doctor prior to resuming sexual activities involving the rectum to determine when it is safe to do so. Another potential is urinary side effects. Prostate cancer treatment can lead to urinary urgency, increased frequency, or involuntary leakage of urine called incontinence. There can be urinary leakage during sexual simulation or during arousal, or at the time of orgasm, which we refer to as climacteria. How long these urinary changes last varies from person to person as everybody's journey after treatment is individual and specific. Another potential area of change is decreased sex drive or libido. This can be very common, particularly with androgen deprivation therapy. 
understanding the causes or having a low libido can be helpful in maintaining a healthy sex life. For example, prostate cancer treatments, stress, and anxiety all can contribute to decreasing your libido. Try bringing in more sensuality into your sex life. You can do this by being more mindful or present during a sexual encounter, allowing you to enjoy all of your senses. Sensuality can also be experienced when you take a bath, enjoy a massage, or simply hug your partner. There are many ways to be more sensual, which can help improve your sex drive. Another consideration is negative impact on body image. The consequence of prostate cancer treatments can negatively impact a person's body image and sexual self-view. Some individuals might not feel attractive, be upset with body changes, or worry about their sexual performance. These feelings are common and absolutely valid. To help you manage this, seek advice from your healthcare team, join a support group, or talk to other trusted individuals such as your partner who can help you cope with the changes to body image and sexual self-view. And finally, the impact on fertility. Prostate cancer treatments can affect your ability to either make sperm and have children or the transport of sperm for the future. It's important to talk to your doctor before having prostate cancer treatments if you have fertility plans for the future. The prostate cancer journey is a personal and unique experience for each individual and their circle of care. The journey can be challenging, yet it can also create opportunities for personal growth in the many dimensions of your life. It also allows you to explore other ways of enjoying sexual pleasure, whether alone or in a partnered situation. Think about what is sexually important to you and look at your options for achieving your goals. Ultimately, talk to your healthcare team about managing your sexual side effects. Here are several different resources that may be helpful for you to look into that you'll be able to find on our website. And certainly if you're interested in our program, please reach out through the contact deals listed on this slide. Thanks so much for watching.